Hi everyone, thanks for checking out another InfoSec Hub video. Today we're going to talk about Sandboxy. And Sandboxy is a very interesting program. Also relates to endpoint protection. First, to demonstrate what Sandboxy is, I'm going to show you an image. How Sandboxy works. Well, a sandbox, for some of you people that have uh, an idea about information security and some of the concepts, a sandbox is basically, um, here you see this uh, figure, this is part of the hard drive. So this is a hard drive with sandbox enabled. That means this is all closed off. And that's a great feature. Let's say for instance you have a program that you don't really trust. You download it from the internet, you are not very uh, sure about the source, you have no idea what it does. You don't want to ruin your computer or your hard drive. You don't want, let's say for instance, it's ransomware. You can run it inside a sandbox and it will only mess up the sandbox. It will not spread from the sandbox to the rest of your hard drive. So that's why Sandboxy is a, such a great tool that I have to include it here in this video. Um, let's go over to the control panel here. This is Sandboxy control. As you can see now, it's just a default box. There's no uh, program running inside here, but let me show you something else. These are some of the downloads I had earlier this week since I set up this laptop. This is an executable, this, 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 this. Now, one of those programs might be malicious. What can you do then? See what it does. Right mouse click, run sandboxed. We're gonna run a sandboxed web browser to show you a little bit better. It's a great tool, it's still available online. Sandboxed web browser. Most of your malicious viruses or ransomware or stuff like that will come through the web browser. Let's see. Close. Sandboxy, let's see if it's running inside. Yes. You see here this window this yellow window, it doesn't really scale up nice, but this is this shows you that this web browser is now running inside a sandbox. So it's closed off from the rest of the hard drive. So whatever happens in the sandbox will not affect your computer. So let's say for instance you have, you have received the email that you're not really 100% sure about, you can start up this web browser, you can open the file, inspect it, and if your sandbox is being corrupted, you can delete the sandbox and you can create a new one and start over again fresh. The malicious code will only attack the sandbox. And that's also great for programs, what I showed you earlier. Run inside sandbox. Run out in outside sandbox or default box. And the default box is this one. We'll go back to the control center. File. Terminate all programs inside the sandbox. Well, nothing is running at the moment. Resource access monitor is Windows sandboxed. You can also run Windows sandbox if you want to. So Inside this default sandbox, what can we run? We can run a web server, an email reader. Let's say, for instance, you have an Outlook client here. You can run it, run any program you want. I just downloaded OpenOffice, for instance. Let me see if that's kosher because I don't trust it because I didn't get it for the, from the official website. It's just an example. Any program, run Windows Explorer. Terminate programs, quick recovery, delete contents. So here you can delete the contents of your sandbox. You can rename or remove the sandbox and create a new sandbox. Long story short, we go back here. Not here. We go back here. See, a hard disk with no sandbox. You install something and it might spread to different folders and different locations. With a sandbox, only the contents of your sandbox will be affected. It will not spread to outside the sandbox and infect the rest of your hard drive. You can do that with programs, you can do that with browsers, 
and you can do that to your operating system uh, on a general. I find this program many years ago I just created this channel again and since it was a popular video and I got a lot of questions about it I decided to make a new video about it again. So next time you guys are searching for PDF files on hacking or how to blow up the world or stuff like that you know illegal stuff and you got it from a shady website and you want to see if that PDF is really a PDF or maybe it's a, a PDF disguised um, and in the background something else is happening on your operating system that you don't know about long story short you want to see what it is what it does to your computer run it inside the sandbox and if the sandbox is messed up it doesn't matter you just remove it and create a new sandbox and keep on moving it will not affect your operating system so that's a great way to isolate bad programs and that's a great way to uh, minimize risks uh, such as ransomware, spyware, things like that. Thanks for watching, I hope this video was useful and as always see you guys in the next video.